and we are from Robotica with Sermon and we feel our own robot, it's a sumo robot it's built with Lego and, and it's a sumo fighter and it, uh, it's programmed, it's programmed by Union and it's programmed to fight against other robots and push them out of, of a circle uh, it was built by me and Leo and um, yeah and we're we're gonna show you some shots uh, following video of it working uh, with uh, with the program. Hello, my name is Juan. I created this line follower right here. Uh, it's a little piece of machinery that follows my line, basically, as, as it names. Um. Uh, basically, you have. Uh, it ha I made a program for this that uses one camera that uh, measures reflection from. It. I made a program that uses uh, the reflection from this camera right here and um, it needs um, a reflection gradient. Basically you need to have a dark part and a really, and a really light part. So um, basically uh, if it measures the reflection to be too high it corrects itself and, and turns around and if it's too low it, it, it goes in the opposite direction. Um, what I did is um, a PID program. Uh, basically, it it, um, it doesn't need any interaction from me. It, it corrects itself. I just put some values in, like uh, the desired uh, reflection value, and then it just corrects it for itself. Everything else. So basically, my program takes uh, a few values in that I put it. Uh, for example, the reflection value, and um, it set, I set it as a variable, um, so I set four variables that are just the target value and some corrections so it goes smoother um, and then um, it starts taking, taking information from the camera and just comparing the target value to the value that it's actually measuring. So this is where uh, it takes the target value, then some corrections here. Uh, these are basically, um, I said some variables to Cido so it can actually uh, correct itself, correct, correct its path. So um, here, here it takes the, the target value, the, what is measuring from the camera, it subtracts them so you have a difference then that puts it as an error. The error is then taken. Um, with uh, with another value and, uh, and adding them, of course, and then uh, you get um, the steering direction. Um, and after that, it takes uh, the error and it store um, it it, um, it saves it for uh, so it can predict in some kind of sense the path that it will take and where it has where it has been.